Hope you're doing well. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. As far as the breeding setup for the Glossolepis maculosus, you can see them in its beautiful color. It is aquarium water. You can see Daphne fluttering around. Green water, lots of algae. Nice and natural for them. They look happy already. Oh, these Glossolepis maculosus are definitely... Come on, focus. Focus for me. Oh, definitely in breed mode. There they go. I don't know why the camera sucks so bad. like shooting on a potato. You wouldn't even think this is an iPhone X. Man, they are in breed mode. They love that water change I gave them yesterday. You see them up at the top, they're actually in breed mode. He is chasing her. Look at that action. So he's got that stripe on his head. Boom, boom. Look at those colors. Beautiful. So I know these guys should be breeding now, as you can see. And they've got about a week more in this tank before I should be able to pull them and then start waiting for babies. It's got Pogo stem in it, Brazilian Pennywort floating at top, the Nuri Rosamade and Crip. Such a unique rainbow. Like it's more spotted than it has lines. But his are so intense right now, it's almost looking like lines. Quick little guy too. Now what I like to call the G-Max had a few weeks to marinate in that other 40 gallon. Time to put them in another 40 gallon, which I like to call musical fish. Now I did wait for babies in that other 40 gallon. I did not have any success with them, but in this tank, with their setup in this Brazilian Pennywort, I got some babies. Three weeks after removing the adults. Finally seeing some little maculosis. Things are so tiny. See it sifting through the sea of tetracolor tropical granule dust. Nipping at things, maybe eating it. But I have been trying to breed this fish for so long. I don't know why it's so tricky for a rainbow fish. It has been giving me troubles. Here we are. Finally, things just to slither. This tank has been sitting without fish for almost three weeks now. Just hoping, hoping something would come out of it. You know how hard it is to not want to put something in an empty 40 gallon aquarium after you played musical fish and haven't seen anything for weeks? I'm so glad I waited. So, so glad I waited. And the only thing is, I'm not seeing many more. Usually with rainbow fish, once you see one, you see a whole ton. But not with these guys. Well, who knows? Tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'm gonna keep my eye out. And I do see a few more. So I'm guessing there's probably like five. Wow, did you see that little microorganism running? They give me away from these little bitties. And this is why I do filterless aquariums. Good luck feeding those itty bitty tiny fish. Plus, if you're doing like live foods, white worms, stuff like that, you ain't gonna feed these guys. Infusoria, you need all the tiny little microorganisms. No airline, no filter, boom, bruh. It doesn't get any easier. I don't have to do anything special. I don't have to mess with nothing. They just get to sit in here and graze and I'll just dust the little granules on top. That's what all that, that's what all that dusting is up there. Nice and dirty, the way nature intended. And these rainbow fish down here, the Victor Root 2s are getting bigger. Got a couple of them. Well, you can see how they just exploded in here. They do take a while to grow out, slowly but surely. And this is the fish that I'm talking about. This is the Glossolepis maculosus. These are two females right here. The male is hiding back. There he is, coming to see his ladies. Absolutely beautiful and unique rainbow fish. This camera right now is not doing him any justice. Actually, he's got a lot of his red on, but the rainbow fish, they'll change colors. Boy, he's a little aggressive. Rounding them all up. And as I mentioned, look at those colors. I am the only person with these in the United States. So, pressure has been on big time to breed these things. So I'm super excited to see those fry out of them. With this trio, the way he's turned down this tank, I mean, I should be able to keep them going. Even if I gotta trickle spawn them little by little, getting a few out here and there, it'll all be worth it.
There's a long list of big names who want them right now. What a fish. And as far as spawning these, you see I got the no filter situation going on. Lots of plants. None of my tanks have filters. I don't use them. Don't need them. I mean, I could clean this up and make this look real good. But algae is the most universal plant for fish. So if anything triggers breeding, it's going to be algae over any plant that you can put in your aquarium. Plus, after you're putting your breeders in there, you don't want to pull algae in maintenance and then you pull your eggs out, defeating the whole purpose. Plus that maintenance that you're doing every week or every two weeks is disturbing their environment. So the less you disturb their environment, guess what? More breeding. Now I'm trying to help you guys with making aquarium keeping easy. And it, it really is a lot easier. Oh my God. This tank, if you guys saw on the live stream, was completely dark. I have done no maintenance with this thing and it just settled itself out. Love it. Mother nature for the win. That's why I don't worry about green water tank a little daphne a little bit of that that one's starting to settle this one's going crazy because i've been dumping crazy ferts in it because the uh, stem plants really trying to get them boosted and growing but you battle with that with the no filter aquarium but anyways getting off track temperature i thought cold water changes would help with these guys but we haven't really had much cold chill maybe it will still trigger them but i think a lot of it is set in the environment not so much the temperature but more the environment that they are in now if it's a really 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 tropical hot fish it doesn't hurt to turn the heat up because i mean that's signaling that it's not winter time it's either spring summer or, or fall so it's still breeding season for them so i hope this helps out some of you guys and the way that i breed these fish is i'll let them sit in there for maybe about two weeks three weeks maybe a month and then eventually i'll pull them out and put them in a different tank musical tank that's what i call a musical tank you let the adults breed throw eggs all around grab them out sometimes there's already babies in there grab them out throw them in another tank and then let the fry raise up out of the tank naturally to where I showed in this aquarium, all the microorganisms with these no filter situations, with these no mechanical filtration situations. I mean, there is biological, there's a beneficial bacteria in it. It's just nature doing its thing, but that's what the babies will raise up off of. It's nature, it's nature, it's just the way it goes. We make more out of it than it needs to be as humans. And if you guys do want any of the pictas here, you start moving them out. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start offering them young here, but I'm gonna offer them cheap and affordable. I'm thinking like 10 bucks. So hit up the website, lrbacords.com. See if I can find their daddy. And now their colors aren't all crazy turned on right now. Oh, there's his daddy right in the middle. Oh, there you went. It's the Melanitania Picta Rutus. Oh, come on, guy. Turn to the side. He's staring right at me. He knows I'm looking at him. There he is. He'll get much more colorful than that. Here's some better footage of the Melanitania Picta Rutu where you can see the color change. See how he's lighter? Now he's darker. The color just changes on rainbow fish like that. They will constantly change, and not just between the two shades, but many colors. This was the 40 gallon I showed you earlier before it was full of babies and grown out. But after the eggs are thrown in the babies hatch, the algae takes over because I'm not pulling it. It's beneficial to them all. Here you can see the Glossolepis maculosus color change more in its red form, more gold form. And then here it's more in its green form. So there's three types of different color changes and this footage is actually of the tank that I got the babies from. So you can actually see the actual setup that I had them breeding in. As you can see there, I got some Brazilian pennywort that's draped over. And they really love that. So maybe a hanging spawning mop. Many rainbow fish like those. But for some reason, I'm not a big fan of the spawning mops. I like to keep something more natural when it comes to breeding fish. If you are looking for more videos like this, YouTube search LRB like rainbow fish, LRB plant food, LRB shrimp, anything, name it LRB on YouTube. And I've got a video for it. There's I think over 700 at least. I know there's over 600 videos on here for you guys to go through that can hopefully have some helpful information for what you're looking for. 
And if I could ask you guys a big help and big favor, since YouTube's not really pushing with my algorithms, my notifications and stuff, if you can, if there's any video that has helped you, or maybe you thought that another fellow hobbyist would love, please, please, please share my videos. Let's get this information out there. I would love to at least hit 100,000 subscribers at some point. That would at least make me feel like, hey, maybe I am a YouTuber. But anyways, that's a dream. Always kind of has been a dream, even though I never wanted to be a YouTuber and I was kind of put into it. It would be awesome. It would be cool. So if you guys can help that happen for me, much, much appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.